All right, so we're going to talk about the mathematical relationship between density, mass, and volume as it relates to planets in a very basic sense. Um, we're going to think of a planet as a sphere, a perfect sphere in this instance, so we can use the volume of a sphere equation. However, planets are obviously not perfect spheres. So the first thing you must know is that density equals mass over volume. This should make sense to you as volume is the capacity of something, whereas mass is the amount of matter in an object. So the amount over the space of something, I mean, that's going to give you density, how much there is packed into some space. You can manipulate this formula to give you volume times density equals mass, or similarly, um, volume equals mass divided by density. So this is just all one formula manipulated algebraically. We also have a second formula here where volume equals four-thirds pi r cubed. That's all you'll need to know for now. Uh, the second thing you, you must understand about these types of problems is that there's a lot of conversions. So you have one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. We usually think of planets uh, in units of grams per centimeters cubed. We have centimeters here, and then we, are, we have a meter conversion table here. So let's get to the questions and see what we need to do. Let's say we are studying an imaginary planet with a radius of 7,500 kilometers and a mass of 5 times 10 to the 24th kilogram. What would its density in, be in units of kilograms per kilometers cubed? All right, so here's a situation where we don't need to um, convert the units. We can just plug and chug. All right, so we have density equals mass over volume. So we can plug in mass, which is right here, density equals 5 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. And as for volume, we can represent volume with this equation here. So the bottom can be volume represented as 4 thirds pi, and then radius here, which is 7,500 cubed. And this will give, this will give you an answer of 2.8 3 times 10 to the 12 kilo kilograms over kilometers cubed. So when they give you a radius of something, that means they want you to use this part of the equation as well as this. So moving on to the next question, they're asking us the same exact question just to convert the volume into units of centimeters cubed. So here's a conver conversion problem. So there's two ways to really attack this. Either the one way and the way that I prefer is to immediately convert your units. So 7,500 kilometers is equal to, according to our metric table here, we got kilometers and centimeters. Well, they're five, unit, five factors of 10 apart. So you just add five zeros at the end. So then it will become seven, five, one, two, and then add five, one, two, three, four to get centimeters. You then just plug this into the volume equation, which is 4 thirds pi, uh, 7.5 times 10 to the 8 uh, centimeters cubed. And this will get you an answer of 1.78 times 10 to the 27 centimeters cubed. The other way to attack this problem is to actually compute the volume as we did up here with kilometers. So it would be 4 thirds pi 7,500 kilometers cubed. And then take whatever the answer that is and then convert it to centimeters cubed, which is a little bit more difficult because then you're having to use the powers of the cubic measurements and I believe it's a 10 to the 15th uh, unit conversion there. So let's move forward to the final question here. And it's saying, let's say we are splitting an imaginary planet with a radius of 7,500 kilometers and a mass of 5 times 10 to the 24th kilogram, the same sort of things. But would its density be in units of grams per centimeters cubed? Please write your answer to the nearest hundredth of a decimal. Okay, so what we have here is we already have our uh, centimeter cubed volume. So we just need to convert the mass to, uh, from kilograms to grams. So if we come back here, one kilogram equals a thousand grams. That means we have to add three zeros to the end of the kilogram function, the kilogram. So we have density equals 
Well, it's 5 times 10 to the 24th, so adding three zeros will make it 5 times 10 to the 27th. And this will be in grams. And we can put our parentheses there. And then with this unit here, or this, uh, what we calculated up here, we have 1.78 times 10 to the 27th centimeters cubed. And this will net us our density, which is 2.83 grams per centimeters cubed. So we just did three simple density problems here and the one thing I want to point out though is when you calculate these equations on a calculator you must use the correct order of operations. So make sure you're using parentheses properly and exponents properly otherwise you'll get incorrect answers, vastly incorrect answers, and always check yourself.